Good afternoon, Facebook land or YouTube or my website, wherever you're seeing this, wherever you're going to see this. Joe Bernstein here, and I want to talk to you today about commitment. I want to help you understand what it means to me, and I want you to share what it means to you. So that's the first thing. If you were checking out even a few seconds of this, in the comments below, just share what does commitment mean to you? How do you define it? What are you truly committed to? So I've been working on commitment with a client. It's a new client, and he we're doing his values work, and he decided that commitment is one of his values. And essentially, the way he looks at it is commitment is when I limit my choices. When I essentially say that no matter what, I am going to do this. And so I'm so willing to do something, I'm so willing to follow through with something that I don't give myself a choice. And, you know, I like that for him because sometimes he hasn't shown up that committed. But for me, it's a little different. I see commitment as being extremely aware of my choices, knowing that at any point I can walk away from something I committed to. I can say no to something I said I would do. I can renegotiate the terms of something that I'm committed to. But commitment to me is consciously being aware of my choice and being so dedicated to something that I will find a way to say yes, no matter what. So again, commitment to me is being so dedicated to something that I'm conscious of my capacity and responsibility to make choices, but I find a way to say yes, no matter what. So I really want you to share, what is it to you? And the reason I'm talking about this today is because I really don't want to be doing this video right now. I wasn't a yes to it. I'm not feeling great today, you know? I, I woke up and um, something's just off. Something's just off. Mentally, I feel a little bit slower. I feel a little shut down emotionally. I'm not quite the full spectrum of aliveness that I tend to feel. I feel a little bit sluggish. I went and did yoga instead of a high-intensity interval class or a spin class that I could have done, and I feel like I really needed that jolt of endorphin, that jolt of energy. So I'm feeling off emotionally and intellectually right now. And so I tell myself sometimes, well, I can't go do a live video as a coach, as someone who says he helps people with mindset and skill set, with relationships, with changing their general state of being when I'm feeling shitty myself, when I'm feeling off. But when I start to think that way, I think that's bullshit, right? Because I've made a commitment. Recently with the coach I'm working with, I made a commitment that I'm going to come and do a Facebook Live Monday through Friday, no matter what. No matter what. And no matter what means no matter what. Now, that doesn't mean I didn't have a choice today. It means what, how committed, how disciplined and focused and dedicated am I to find a way to make a choice? So I'm very committed to many things. I'm very committed to meditation. I'm very committed to, to peaceful and loving connection with the family members and loved ones in my life. I'm very committed to being of service to others. I'm very committed to my business. I'm very committed to exercise every single day. I'm very committed to eating well in a way where I actually can feel good in my body and so my energy is sharp, powerful, my mind is feeling good. So I'm committed to certain habits. But the way that I stay committed, and we'll take for example exercise, is that I give myself the opportunity to say no, but to choose never to say no. What I do is instead I, I can always choose my level of intensity. So for example, if I'm feeling terrible physically, or I'm feeling tired, or if I literally just am not feeling like going to the gym, I give myself a lowest common denominator. I give myself a lane. Well, I could go, and I could run for half an hour, and I can lift, and I can be fully powerful and do my whole business, my whole workout, or I can go and do 20 minutes on a treadmill and leave. I can go and do a little bit of body weight workout and go home. Uh, yeah, today was supposed to be a high-intensity interval day, but I'm not feeling that, so I'm just going to go and do yoga instead. So I commit to always going and working out, no matter what, but I get to choose my intensity. That keeps me consistent, regularly, five, six days a week, making sure I exercise. Same with this video. I committed to showing up and doing a video, no matter what, to serve people, to help people. Maybe this will help one person, and I'm committed to that. So. 
what I decided was I don't need to be perfect today. I don't need to be positive or upbeat or energetic in the way that I like to show up on a video. And what I'll do is I'll actually talk about this struggle. I'll talk about this challenge. I'll talk about the fact that I didn't want to be doing the video today and how it relates to our commitment. So for today, I'm asking you, can you allow what is? Like, can you allow whatever state is going on? Can you allow the fact that you're pissed off at your boss? Can you allow that you're low energy? Can you allow that you're not feeling great? Can you allow that you know, the people in your life are giving you a hard time? Can you allow that you don't have a lot of time to go and get everyone gifts, but you wanna give great gifts? Can you allow that to just be and not try and change it? And still take action anyway. So that's my challenge to you. Can you allow what is? but not let it take you off your path? Can you allow the state that you're at, choose your intensity, and still say yes to the things that you say you're committed to? So that's what I got for you today. I love helping people with stuff like this. If you are someone who says you're committed but doesn't always follow through, reach out to me via PM. I got some ideas for you I'd love to help. Maybe it's a conversation, maybe it's just some content I'll share with you. But that's what I got for you today. And if you have an opinion or definition of what commitment is to you, drop it in the comments below. Peace. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be in Florida. Committed to doing the video anyway. Uh, I love y'all. Take it easy. I'm out.